to a tactical system. So today we're going to be talking about traffic stops and kind of the do's and don'ts of uh, for citizens out there because you know I still uh, I work as a patrol officer, uh, supervisor on a, on a patrol shift, and I make traffic stops and I see uh, people do some of these things and I know all other officers out there have experienced the same thing. So I wanted to kind of you know give you a little insight of the don'ts. Uh, as far as that, you know, to make it a safe interaction between you and law enforcement. Now, we're also seeing this coming up uh, with kids that's being taught in schools now, and I think that's a great idea because it shows the expectation from both sides there when it comes to uh, a simple traffic stop. So, uh, number one, uh, don't stop in the middle of the road. Don't slam on your brakes or stop in the middle of the road. I see this so many times, uh, you know, where you hit the lights on a patrol car and the overheads are on and the person looks in the rearview mirror and they immediately stop and slam on their brakes. Uh, you want to pull to the right, pull into a parking lot or maybe a side street, especially if you're on a major thoroughfare, uh, into a side street or something like that. Uh, and number two would be to, you know, turn down your music. You know, I, I see this so many times where you get up there and the person still has their music up and it's blaring and it makes for miscommunication, uh, you know, from the officer. So you can't hear them, they can't hear you. And so you just want to make sure you turn down your music so that way you, you can hear each other. Okay. Uh, number three is put your car in park and uh, turn on your dome light, especially at night. You know, make sure that you put your car in park, you turn on that dome light, that way that officer can see inside the car and it makes them feel a little bit better about the interaction about approaching your vehicle. Uh, and also if you have a window tent that's dark, especially in the back, or you know, normally it's all over the car these days, but especially in the back, go ahead and roll down those windows. I know it might be a little chilly out, but you know when that officer approaches up there and those windows are rolled down, the dome light is on, uh, they're probably going to tell you, yeah, you can go ahead and roll up your, your other windows, and that way you can stay warm, if, especially if it's in the wintertime or if in the summertime like it is in Texas, it's hot, and uh, you know you want, you want to get the air conditioning and keep it going. So, uh, But it, it, it makes the officer feel better about that interaction that they're, they're, or that approach because it, it lets them know that this citizen is aware of, of dangers that can be out there for the officer. So they're doing these things to make them feel more comfortable about the situation. So <clears throat> take your foot off the brake. Um, guys, when we see the, the brake lights come on or stay on when we're approaching, it makes us think that the person still hasn't drive and they're going to flee. And so, you know, put it in park, take your foot off. You can even you can even shut it off and if you want to, you can lay your keys on the dash, those kind of things. I mean, things like that you can do. You don't have to do those things, but it does make the officer feel more comfortable, especially during that approach. Be courteous uh, and wait for the officer uh, to ask the questions uh, and tell you why they stopped you. Now, that's important, guys, because I... There's so many times you walk up to a vehicle, and you know, officers are human beings just like you are. They have bad days sometimes. And so uh, maybe they just got through dealing with you know, two other people that were cursing at them or spitting on them. I mean, you never know what the situation is. And then the first response they get from you as a citizen is, what'd you stop me for? You know, and you can, and the attitude is there. So you know, just wait for the officer. If they don't tell you why they stopped you, just give them, then you ask them. But, but most of the time, they're going to tell you uh, why they stopped you and why you're having an interaction, okay? Um, number seven, may not help, but if you'd like to have a chance to get out of a citation, here's, this may help you, be apologetic, be nice, smile, and be kind. Not every officer that stops you is going to write you a ticket, uh, unless they're motor officers. I'm just kidding for the guys that are out there at motorcycle officers. But no, not every person that's going to stop you, not every officer that's out there is going to write you a citation. Um, you know, they, they are required to, they're not necessarily a number of stops or a number of citations. That they can, especially in the state of Texas, they cannot require that. They can't tell us how many uh, citations to write. But they do watch how many people we make contact with. So that doesn't mean that you're going to get a citation just because an officer is stopping you. Normally they're just informing you of the, of the minor violation that may be, and it's going to be a good interaction if you let it be that way. Okay. Number eight, <clears throat> tell, your, tell the officer uh, your intentions when you're reaching inside the car. Guys, don't just reach over and start reaching into a glove box or reaching into a person, and especially don't reach under the seat. You know, I have seen that happen on, on uh, traffic stops uh, where the person dropped something. You know, that maybe they were getting their wallet out dirty and they dropped their, their wallet down or their license down. They get up there and, and the first thing I see is the hand going down under the seat. 
And let me tell you something, it really it puts, uh, it puts an officer on high alert when you do those kind of things. Make sure that they can see your hands. Make sure they're visible. So when they're walking up to that car, you know, have your, have your hands up on the steering wheel. That way they can see them. And if you're going to reach for something inside that car, tell the officer beforehand, Officer, I'm going to reach into my glove box uh, to get my insurance. That way they know where your hands are going. And it makes them feel better. Yeah, and you may say, well, hey, this is not something I have to do. I don't have to tell them anything. You're right. But why not have that interaction a lot better and make it a lot safer for you and safer for the officer as well, you know? Uh, <clears throat> don't argue because it's not the place. It's not the place. It's not the time. If the, if the officer is going to issue a citation, they're going to issue the citation, you know? Uh, the place to argue that is in court. And I, and I have seen a lot of people, and I, it, you know, it's understandable to be upset about receiving a citation. No one wants to have to pay money. No one wants to get a, a ticket. But at the same time, guys, it, you know, if you're going to argue, if you say, hey, well, I want to see the radar, I want to see this, you know, those are things that you can argue in court. Uh, you know, you, and, you, and you have that right. You can go to court. <clears throat> and you can ask for the things uh, that you're wanting to see or, or uh, you know, the officer can talk about uh, what, they, what they saw on radar or, the, or they, what they saw as far as uh, the stop goes itself. So, but try not to get into an argument with them. It, it does you no good. Uh, I can get, and they remember that interaction with you, you know, especially if you live in that community. They remember that interaction with you. So if, you know, if you're speeding again, let's say, and they stop you the second time, you know, and you were, you were an ass to them the first time, you know, they may give you a break and they may not. They don't have to. That's what I'm telling you, is they can issue that citation. So try to be nice. You know, even if you get a citation, still try to be nice. I mean, it's just common decency. It's common human courtesy uh, that we should be showing. And I guarantee you, most of the time, you're going to get the same response from the officer as well. Uh, <clears throat> You know, with the with the cell phone guys, you know you can record officers. It's 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 not an issue, um, you know, to record them. But at the same time, if they're asking for information from you, like your license and those kind of things, get those. You know, uh, set your phone over on the side. If you're worried about recording the traffic stop itself, the officers are recording. You know, with a dash cam or body cam. Most police departments. I'm gonna I'm gonna say not all. But most police departments have body cams, you know, so they're recording as well. So, you know, and, and they're doing that for your protection and theirs. Uh, you know, officers don't mind, as long as you're doing the right thing, officers don't mind having a body cam on. They really don't because it's going to help them more than it hurts them. So understand, you don't need to bring up your cell phone and put it in their face and, you know, tell them that you're, that you're recording. Uh, they're recording as well. Uh, and not only that, if it's at night, and you're bringing something up like this in, in front of the officer when he walks up there to the window, it really can put him on high alert, him or her, and put you in, in a situation where it's dangerous for you. So, again, make sure that you're keeping your hands visible on the steering wheel, turn your dome light on, roll your windows down, be courteous, those kind of things. Um, again, don't ask to see the radar, guys. I mean, unless your state requires it, uh, most officers are not going to do that because that would require them to... Uh, you know, get you out of the car and walk you back and, uh, you know, be out on the outside of the road there. They're trying to make that traffic stop as quick as possible because normally there's, there's traffic going by and officers are killed every year by vehicles on the side of the road. Uh, and saying that, guys, also another tip that I wanted to make sure I touched on is don't jump out of your car. <clears throat> don't jump out of your car after, you, after the traffic stop. Uh, stay in your vehicle. I recently had that to happen to me as well where I made a traffic stop and immediately, there's an older gentleman, <clears throat> he jumps out of his vehicle uh, and starts wanting to walk back towards the, the police car. Now, that put me on high alert when he did that because it's not normal to do that. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this video is that hopefully, because apparently not everybody knows because these things I'm talking about we see on a daily basis, uh, hopefully though, uh, you guys, someone who's watching this, will make those corrections and not get themselves in that situation. So, so make sure you don't jump out of your vehicle. Make sure you stay uh, inside the vehicle. Again, turn your, uh, put your car in park, get your foot off the brake so that it's not showing that the rear brake lights are on as the officer's approaching. Uh, make sure that you turn your music down. Make sure that you roll your windows down, have your dome light on. Be courteous, be nice. It'll get you a long ways in life. Thanks, be safe.